Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great holiday season. If you've been following my channel for a little bit, you probably noticed that I have a new background going on here. Um, so I have some festive stuff and this is actually a diffuser that I've had for a while. It was just kind of a little bit off camera, I think, or it might've been in some of um, the videos that I filmed prior to this, but I am working on a new background. So if you guys have any suggestions on where I might find some cool stuff to put back here, I do want to put like art on the wall as well. So if you know of anything that I might like, leave me a comment down below and let me know where to find that stuff because I'm terrible at finding decor. If you're new to my channel, thanks for stopping by to watch this video. And for all of you, I just wanted to give you a heads up that I am planning a few giveaways in the upcoming months. So if you don't want to miss out on that, make sure you click that subscribe button down below so that you can get all of the details once those giveaways are ready. In this video, I wanted to share with you guys most of the things that I picked up during Black Friday and Cyber Monday. And the reason why I say most things is because um, two items that I was really looking forward to didn't quite make it here yet. One of them is delayed until like December 28th and the other one basically made it to my PO box and then I, I was not aware that um, this company may not ship to PO boxes. So it turned around and went right back to the warehouse. So I'm seeing if I can have it shipped somewhere else instead so that I can actually get it. So stay tuned for that. I know I have been filming some Vlogmas videos during the month of December, like once a week, they've been coming out on Wednesdays. So once I do get those items, if it happens to be on a Wednesday or before, I guess December 28th, wouldn't it be before Wednesday? But if I happen to get it before one of the Vlogmas videos, I'll make sure to feature it there instead since it won't be making it into this video. Anyways, you guys, I wanna go ahead and get right into it because there's quite a few things that I have. I'm just gonna grab um, items in no particular order. It's just kind of like whatever's next in line here. But I may go into a little bit more detail um, as far as you know some of the items that I picked, why I picked them. So I just wanted to give you a heads up in case this video turns out to be a little bit chatty and long. Maybe you wanna go grab a snack or something to drink, maybe some hot chocolate or something festive but yeah let's get right into it so this is the first package that i'm going to open up it's from gap and to be super honest with you guys i picked this up a little bit before black friday it was still on sale though like i feel like i got like 30 or 40 percent off my entire purchase which was really great so the reason why i made this purchase is because i am trying to replace some like loungewear, sleepwear kind of items. So really these are like pajama pants and shorts. The ones that I've had, like most of them are pretty old. Like I feel like one of them, like a pajama pant that I have is like over 10 years old and I honestly don't know how it's lasted so long, but there's nothing really wrong with it. I can actually continue to wear them, but there are a few that I had to get rid of. So these are basically replacements. So this is the first um, pair that I have here. These have like little stars all over them and um, I got it in a size small. It actually looks like it might be a little bit loose on me, so I'm glad that there's a drawstring that'll definitely come in handy. They feel very soft and lightweight, and yeah, I just kind of like, you know, wearing stuff like this around the house at nighttime or on the weekends if I'm not going anywhere. Here is the second pair I got, and I actually got, this is a men's size, and it was like a toss up. So Chris and I are like, we're not like the same size, but, I wanted to see if I could fit in a size small in men's. Um, and if I do, then I'm gonna keep them. And if they're too big, then I'm gonna give them to Chris. But yeah, I love dogs. As you probably know, I've mentioned, you know, I have a dog in a bunch of my videos, although I haven't really shown him in my videos, although he does appear on my Instagram occasionally. Um, but yeah, I love anything that has dogs on it. Um, I have a Labrador. I try to find Labrador things, but not often are there things with Labradors on it. This pair is a pair of shorts. And a lot of these do look pretty Christmassy and I think it's because of the season, but that's totally okay. I mean, nobody outside is seeing me in any of this. So I think that's totally fine. I have one more pair here. So these, I really couldn't say no to. Um, they're like golden retrievers in scarves and it looks like there's some snow or something on here, although it's really light because I know this is already like a light fabric, but I think you can kind of see it on camera. There's like little white dots. Um, and I thought these are really cute. I feel like I have a couple of friends who would like these because they have golden retrievers. Um, but yeah, I got these on Gap. I thought they're really cute. This is actually a different style leg. So more of like a jogger style, whereas the other ones are like, you know, totally open, like wide leg um, pajama pants. But yeah, I think these are really cute. All of them are pretty lightweight, which for me is really good because it doesn't get too cold where I live. And I do actually have a pair of like thicker pajama pants in case I travel to somewhere colder than here 
and I need a little bit of warmth while I'm sleeping. So the next package I have here is from Madewell and everything on the Madewell site was somewhere between like 30, 40 and 50% off, just depending on when you were shopping. I think they had like certain exclusions and whatnot, but most of their items did have some kind of discount that you could apply. Um, these are actually tops that I wanted to get to add to my work wardrobe because in my previous trunk club unboxing, I mentioned that I had cleared out some old work clothes and like donated some, was selling some stuff on Poshmark that were still like, you know, new with tags or like barely worn like once or twice. Um, so I did want to kind of update everything that I'm wearing because I don't know, I just, I just feel like I've been a, in a rut with my style and I'm not sure if anybody else has been feeling like that. I know we're not really going anywhere right now, but I actually have been feeling this way for like three plus years now. Okay, so both of these tops are black and I got both in an extra small. So this first one is like a, it says small ruffle sleeve peplum top. And so this is what it looks like. The like white, they're not dots, they're kind of like rectangles. Um, it's actually kind of slightly silvery, um, but it's like a v-neck top with a peplum on the bottom. And I actually really like peplum tops. It's one of my favorite style of tops and has been for quite some time, probably since they were like popular quite a while ago. Um, but I really like these sleeves. They're a little bit more sheer, um, but it's only the sleeve part. The rest of the shirt is lined, so I think that's really great. And there is also this little tie detail right here to make it a little bit tighter. And there is actually a Madewell store here locally, so I think that'll help me if I need to make any returns. This is the second top and it's considered a puff sleeve. So here is that sleeve detail. I really like the pattern on this. I actually just realized that they both have like rectangle shape patterns on them. Um, this one is kind of like a gold or coppery color. Um, but yeah, I like this type of neckline. I also like the back detail right there. It does not have any details through the body like the other peplum one, but I thought that this would be a great top for work. I usually put on like sweaters and stuff over any tops that I wear. So I wanna make sure that the material is thin enough to accommodate that. So I don't really wear like big puffy sleeves or anything like that. I'm definitely someone who gets really cold in the office and needs to kind of layer up a little bit while I'm working at my desk. Um, I haven't been in the office as much as I used to be, but at some point, we should be going back, right? And I also thought that these would be great tops for me to wear in upcoming videos, so you'll probably see them again sometime. So the next item that I have here, I just took it out of the like hard cardboard envelope, um, but this is actually part of like a Patreon um, account that I'm a member of. I don't properly know how to explain that. But there's a local designer here and I really like a lot of the stuff that she makes. She has recently been making washi tapes and I think I've mentioned in another video that I've been like really obsessed with washi tape and like bullet journal stuff for some reason. So I'm happy to support her on Patreon and I did want to get a washi tape because she was doing like a promo for Black Friday too. So right on the front here, I'm not sure if you can see it. I know it's really bright, but it says happy holidays, Shelly. And she has a cute little, um, illustration of herself on there and also some cute washi tape back here there's like rainbows and stuff on it so when i ordered this washi tape for black friday um there was like a little like something you could click or write a note to let her know to like group your purchases along with the patreon stuff and i think she added a few more things into the patreon rewards because it's the holidays but yeah i got this washi tape i'm not sure if you guys can see it on camera really well but um this is actually inspired by a japanese card game called hanafuda and i had to pick it up because i used to play cards like this card game when i was a little kid with relatives like my grandparents and aunties and uncles and stuff like that um, i don't remember how to play it but it is something that i want to relearn design like just brings back a lot of memories for me and i also think it looks like really good like high quality really good um, designs on there. So that's why I wanted to pick that up. And the other thing that I purchased was this sticker sheet. So these are like bullet journal stickers. And like I mentioned, if you watched that other video where I talked about like buying a bunch of bullet journal things, um, I am not good at drawing. So I like to buy stickers from people who can draw way better than me. So I can put those into my bullet journal instead. But yeah, she also included a whole bunch of these cute little stickers there's a dog a reindeer type animal a raccoon 
and oh, another dog, a gingerbread man, and there's all this great stuff too. So it's like a packet of a bunch of different stickers. She did design some like to and from gift stickers. I think this is maybe from last year. I feel like I've seen that before. I'm not, I can't remember. My memory is not so great anymore. Um, but yeah, they're super cute. There's like snowmen and I think there's a reindeer in there, gingerbread man. And this really pretty card right here. Um, so yeah. That's what I got. Oh, sorry, I forgot to mention this is from Risk It Design. Um, but in another video that I filmed quite a while ago, um, I talked about some favorites and she did do a cartoon drawing of my dog and made it into a sticker. And that was one of my favorite things, of course. So yeah, I really like her stuff. I will leave her a link to her website down in the description box in case you wanna check any of her stuff out. Okay, next up here. So if you watched my last Vlogmas video, I mentioned some of these things that I was getting. I think I showed you some of the packages on the side. And then here is this like blank box that has no logo, like nothing on it. My address is on the top, so I'm not gonna show you that part. But this is actually nail polish from a company called Sundays. I have been looking more into non-toxic nail polish, and so I wanted to check them out. Um, they look like a super cool brand. Um, I actually saw a video online where a couple people, like another channel that I follow, went to their nail salons and got their nails done quite a while ago. And the, just the concept behind it is sort of like a wellness relaxation kind of thing paired with like, you know, getting your nails done and that kind of being a part of it. I know I don't normally wear nail polish on my hands. If you guys have been watching my channel, you probably noticed that I don't wear a lot of nail polish on my hands, but truthfully it's because I'm too impatient to wait for it to dry on my fingers and I just wanna go and like do stuff right after I'm done, which will probably, you know, likely mess it up. So that's the reason why I don't paint my nails, but I am really, really trying to build in time, you know, and like kind of sit there and have a, have a reason to not do anything. Um, but I bought one of their kits online, so I will show you the colors that I purchased. Okay, so I realized that was quite a big box for um, this box right here. Um, I was actually really impressed with how quick this got to me because I think it came from like the East Coast or something like that, like it was kind of far away. And because it's nail polish, I can definitely understand the reason why it was packed so well, but it says a nail care brand focused on health and wellness, 10 free vegan and non-toxic nail polish gift sets. So I was really hoping to keep that outside wrapping, but it was just like so fitted around this box. I had to rip it, I'm a little bit sad. But this box looks pretty cool. I think it's too bright to show up on camera, but Sundays is actually like, textured written onto this box and this box is like really sturdy okay so this is the set of nail polishes that i got so this is like a kit that was online and i think typically if you were to buy a set anyway it's a little bit cheaper than if you bought each shade individually that's kind of the reason why i wanted to go this route but also because i needed to get like a new base coat and a top coat which was part of this set so um the base coat that i originally picked i think was like their classic base coat, which was sold out. So they emailed me and asked me to pick something else. So this is supposed to be like a moisturizing formula. So it is actually B03. And I think one thing that I found a little bit challenging with this brand is everything is numbered. Like it has like a color description, like red and you know like it describes the color but mostly like when you're going through and selecting what colors you want um to check out it is based on the number so this second one is like a nude color this is n number seven um the third one is a red and i think it's 16. it's very snug in here so yeah number 16 is this red and it to me it's like a classic red i love red nail polish I think I wrote a blog post like a while ago on like my favorite red nail polishes. Um, this one is number 24 and online this was described as like a burnt brick kind of color. And this last one is their top coat and this is T01. So this is the set of polishes. Again, I think that this is such a nice box. Like if you wanted to get a nail polish lover, something like this. It is a little bit on the pricey side, but I think this is wrapped up really, really nicely. Um, I'm looking forward to using this and maybe you'll see these on my nails in an upcoming video. So the next item that I have here is from 10 Tomorrow. 10 Tomorrow is a local fashion brand here. My friend is actually the owner and designer and I go to her store, well, quite often now. I mean, I'm shopping online quite often from her store and she actually just came out with a 
sweatshirt and sweatpants kind of combo since a lot of us have been staying at home and I guess she decided to make some loungewear. So I thought that was really cool. I've actually been looking for locally made loungewear because I'm trying to support locally made businesses, but it's pretty hard to find. I think a lot of the local brands here are either like swimwear type brands or some kind of like dress, romper, like tops and shorts, like actual clothing that you would like wear out and about probably on the weekends or hanging out with friends and that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, loungewear is something that is hard to find made locally. Um, so I definitely wanted to pick this up to support her. Hey guys, sorry I am back. Um, I actually had to stop filming yesterday because my camera overheated. That was actually the first time that that happened, um, but I'm glad I know like what to look for. There's a little icon that shows up on the screen. So I let it cool down. I'm here the next day and let's just kind of jump in where I left off. So I had just opened the package that I received from 10 Tomorrow and this is their first like loungewear, sort of like sweatshirt, sweatpants um, kind of style I believe they've come out with. They have done some other like coats and cardigans and stuff like that before, but um, here's what it looks like. This is in the color Sage. It's kind of like a, not really cropped, but I guess a shorter length sweater. And from what I can tell from the fabric, it feels super soft. It's a little bit on the thinner side and actually here it, it's pretty warm so we don't really need anything too heavy so i think that was great that you know she kept that in mind so i'm so glad that you know we have some other options for loungewear now and um, this top i actually got it in a size small usually i take a size extra small like this top is from 10 tomorrow as well it's in an extra small um but in a sort of sweatshirt situation i did want it to be a little bit more um, oversized comfortable like that kind of feel to it um, these are the pants so here are the front of the pants it comes with pockets and the pants i got in an extra small which is my usual size i have another pair of pants from there that um, are in an extra small so i i figured those fit good so these should as well this is the leg and kind of like the opening at the bottom so one thing that I like here is it's not like super, you know, a lot of other sweatpants are tighter right at the ankle. So I like that this one is a little bit looser and more comfy. Um, but yeah, these are really cute. Here is the back. But yeah, I'm excited to wear this. I think this will be great as it starts to get hopefully a little bit colder. Um, this will probably be something that I wear on like a work from home kind of day. And the last item that I have here is from Brooklinen. So a lot of you out there have probably heard of Brooklinen before. I know I found out about them through like ads on social media. Um, and the reason why I was looking into new sheets was really because um, the ones that I have right now seem to be maybe like not on the thicker side, but it does tend to get warm um, at night, which, you know, isn't really something you want in the middle of summertime. And on the Brooklinen website, I did read a little bit about how their sheets are made to like keep you cool throughout the night so you're not like sweating or anything like that. So I definitely wanted to give them a try. I think that I do have, you know, a few different sets of bedding already. I didn't really want to clutter the space that I already have by, you know, picking up too many sheets or whatever, but um, I did have to get rid of some of that as well. So I decided to pick this set up. So this is like a full set. It comes with pillowcases, a flat sheet, fitted sheet, sorry, like two sets of pillowcases. So four individual pillowcases total, as well as a duvet cover. Um, I do use a duvet <laughs> even though I live in a warm climate. Some people might think that's crazy, but I have air conditioning at home. So that definitely helps. All right, I'm gonna open this up and show you the pattern that I got. So this is a huge box that I did just kind of want to show you what it looks like inside. So everything is wrapped up and it says, just like your favorite vintage tea, these pillowcases get better with wear. So basically it's saying like, the more you wash them, the softer that they'll get. So I'm hoping that you can see the pattern on here. It's pretty bright because of my light, but it's kind of like a, so these lines are like a medium gray and it's kind of like a big paneling. I'm, I'm thinking there's a line that goes straight across here because it looks like squares on the website. And obviously I'm not gonna take this out because this is for like a queen bed set and that will be really huge. But the reason why I picked this pattern um, as opposed to others, so they do have a variety of different um, styles and patterns like solid colors as well as like stripes and some other patterns that you can pick up. And I was really looking for something that was 
a little bit more like relaxing, like wasn't too busy on the eyes. And I apologize if you can hear that beeping in the background. I think something outside is like reversing, but um, I didn't really want something that was too busy on the eyes because when you have like a whole duvet and like your pillows and everything are all matching and it's kind of busy, to me that's a little bit too much. Like it might start to make me feel stressed out, which you know, you don't wanna be going into bed feeling stressed out. So I was going for a little bit more of a minimal pattern. Um, obviously that's just me and if you're totally okay with like busy patterns or like something that's a little bit more than just a few lines on a white sheet, then I mean, that's totally your preferences. And two other colors that I really liked were like this blue color that they had, as well as like a lighter neutral. Like it was either gonna be like a white or sort of like beigey off-white, but um, they actually didn't have a full set in all of the different things that I wanted to pick up, like sheets and pillowcases. That's the reason why I went with this one, because at least I could then be consistent. Um, I personally don't like to um, mismatch too much when it comes to bedding because I'm just not good at finding things that coordinate really well in that kind of way. So that's why I wanted a matching set here, but I'm really looking forward to using this and I hope it helps keep me cool at night. And so I'm not like sweating or anything like that. Um, like I mentioned, you know, I do have air conditioning at home, but it's not something that we keep on like all the time um, because we don't want to, you know, run up our electricity bill or anything. So I'm hoping that this lives up to what it says online and helps to keep us cool at night. All right, you guys, well, thank you so much for watching this video. Sorry I had to jump in um, a second time because my camera overheated, but hopefully that doesn't happen again. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this and like I mentioned I will be doing a few giveaways coming up in the near future so I would highly suggest subscribing to my channel so you don't miss out on any of those thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys next time bye